Let me show you my experiment here now. This is a spark gap, as you can see. These are, uh, I believe they're tungsten wires. And if I put them close together and attach it to the transformer down below, you'll get a spark, of course, uh, as I will demonstrate in a moment. Now, if we go also attached to the spark gap is a a uh, pickup here. It pick us, picks up the uh, picks up the electric current going through here, and then we down below, as you can see, that's attached there, and then down below here it goes into a transformer, a uh, 9,000 volt transformer. Sometimes I hook up a uh, a uh, uh, 15,000 volt uh, kilowatt. Uh, kilovolt voltmeter. Anyways, uh, I uh, don't need that right now. We'll, we'll just assume that the voltage going through the wires is 9,000 volts. Uh, as you can see, when I disattach this, it gets that way. If I move this one to the next one up, it goes very high, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to reattach this, and it will, that of course will get rid of the AC signal and uh, well it didn't quite attach you have to get this on there right <clears throat> you have to get this on there right Ooh. there now it's smooth <clears throat> see and uh, now I will uh, uh, put this put you here on this thing and I will start the experiment. Uh, it's all hooked up. I plug this into a thing here that plugs into the wall. And when I turn this on, the power goes down into the uh, into the transformer. Okay, let's turn it on. You'll get a spark up here, as you'll see. Uh, I'll turn it on right now. As you can see, I have a spark there. Okay, I turn it off. And uh, uh, what I wanted to show you, though, is in the, uh, in the uh, oscilloscope. When the spark is on, what happens to the oscilloscope screen? So let's move you in there like that. And I turn it on. See, everything goes down. All, all, everything's negative, negative to ground, negative to ground. This is what you might call a, uh, well, it's detached there for some reason. Let's see. This is what you might call a unipole. With respect to Earth, all charge, all high voltage charge is negative. I've even made a positive circuits, positive circuits. Uh, that um, uh, should be positive at high voltage, but it's negative to ground. Everything is negative to ground. That is your unipole. Now let's uh, get this going again here. Uh, uh, make sure that's attached and turn this on. I'm going to move this a little bit further away from where it was before I make a bigger spark uh, and uh, turn it on. And let's see what we get here. Okay, turn it on. Let's go one more on this here. That we went off the screen. Yeah, I have to get that up here. Horizontal height. There, like that. You can see it very clearly, clearly there. Everything is always negative to ground. Now that's just going through a spark, and probably the ground is the uh, is the uh, uh, table uh, to some extent. It's probably leaking out as a ground there. Now I'll turn this off. And what is interesting here now, if I uh, move the gap so that it will not spark and just put that many thousands of volts across, oh, these electrodes got hot. See here? I moved it to a wide open. Uh, gap there. Well, 
Okay, now we go back into this and I'll turn this on again and that should pop down to where it was. See, even when there is no spark, you're getting a negative to ground current. And let's get the vertical position here, right? Uh, negative ground current. Anyways, um, the reason I use these older oscilloscopes is they're very forgiving for high voltage. And uh, that means that they won't burn out. I've burned out another uh, uh, another uh, tech, another um, one that was uh, had only one vacuum tube in it to protect it. Uh, plus a neon light and it it uh, uh, Didn't work so well uh, After it got burned out anyways as you can see we have the large spark gap up above Now I'm gonna uh, take and put this Just take off the spark gap here and put this down here like that take off this one and It's a little warm Get this out of here Put this up here like this. Now I'm going to turn it on again. It's going across the table. Let's see what happens. Again, you get that typical thing. Now, if I take this one off the table, this one, let's take this one completely off the table and see what happens. So I'll take this wire here, which is from one side of the transformer, completely off the table. I'll put it over here somewhere. Actually, I'll put it on this thing right here like this. So, well, I'll just lay it over there. Ah, there it is on the floor. Anyways, on the floor, you see? Okay, here we go. I'll turn it on again and see what we get. Still get the negative to ground. So what may be happening is it's going through the sensor into the ground, which is this thing, which is the, uh, you know, the wood part of this. Uh, I can put my hand on it, though, and I don't get any shocks, even with it running, if you can see that. Uh, okay, I shut it off now. Let's take this away from the, the, the uh, table. So we're taking this one away from the table here. I have to show you what I'm doing. This one comes away from the table. Like this. And like this. Now this is a pickup. This pickup actually can track amperage. And uh, I have at one time hooked these to fairly high amperage and uh, and it shows fairly high amperage. Let's just put this away somewhere uh, away from this type of stuff. Maybe this way. Let's try and hold it that way and see see what happens that way. As you can see it's still hooked up to the uh, oscilloscope and we'll turn it on and see what happens this way when I turn it on. Okay, here we go. Turn it on. Oh, still a little bit. It's breaking up, though. It's starting to break up. Uh, oh, there it goes. So it's found its way to the ground. Turn it off. 